It is the end of an era in South Florida radio. Hot 105 FM's Tom Joyner, host of the nation number one syndicated urban morning show. This morning, the radio icon signed off for the final time after a legendary 50 year career. I never say goodbye at the end of this show because it's one continuous party. But this will be the first time I'll say the fly jock has landed. It was standing room only for Joyner's last show. His final words, the fly jock has landed, are a reference to the nickname he's had since the 1980s. That's when he was offered two jobs and took both, flying between Dallas, where he did a morning show, and Chicago, where he was on the air in the afternoon. Tom Joyner calls for Lauderdale home now and has been on Hot 105 for a quarter century. CBS News correspondent Jerika Duncan talked to Joyner as he prepared to walk away from his groundbreaking radio show. For the celebrities. Tom Joyner keeps his listeners that? laughing Hugging. and learning. Barbara Hillary, the first black woman to stand on both the North and South Poles. Our thing has always been to empower people, but to empower, we have to first entertain. If I've got you laughing, I've got you listening. <laughs> His nationally syndicated radio show hit the airwaves in 1994 with a certain audience in mind. We do a show for, for African Americans. That's what we do. This is just so fascinating. In 2000, Joyner discussed his influence with 60 Minutes correspondent Leslie Stahl. 1996, the election. Yeah. I've heard that you were responsible for registering a quarter of a million black voters. I've been given that credit. Politicians, they mm -hmm. call you? Oh, they yeah. want to come on? Yeah. They think that if they want to reach African Americans that vote, they, can, the come to, they can come to this show. How does the message that you were talking about in 2000 resonate with 2019 mm. as we go into the 2020 election? It was different then. I think we're more woke then than now in 2000 in 2000 what day is it joiner says super serving the african-american community has been the secret to his success don't worry about crossover just super serve super serve super serve anything that affects african-americans that's what you do celebrities including oprah winfrey have been calling in to congratulate joiner on his retirement Congratulations. Oh. I mean, the world's not going to be the same without you two. Sybil Wilkes co-hosts the show with Joyner from Dallas. The Tom Joyner Morning Show has been a lifeline for a lot of people who are going through their day to day, but it has empowered them. It's entertained. Entertainment and empowerment mm -hmm. have paid off. At his peak, Joyner says he was making $14 million uh, a year. The, uh, but it got to the point where they were... All right, you're going to cut your salary in half, okay, and then in half, okay, and then in half two years ago because my salary was based on my results. Mm -hmm. And, and um, uh, not only was I losing affiliates, but radio industry as a whole was losing traction. If you had been offered more money, would you have stayed longer? Heck yeah. Shoot, I, my goal was to die on the radio, have my funeral on the radio. What's the next chapter? I'm just going to be concentrating on raising money and putting, putting it in the hands of college students to, to help their tuition uh, at historically black colleges. That's my goal. Joyner's advice to his successor, Ricky Smiley, is to continue to super serve the African-American community and give back. Jerika Duncan, CBS 4 News. Well, I sure hope we continue hearing his voice, right? I know, and maybe we'll see him around South Florida, Fort Lauderdale. I, I, I certainly hope so. Never say goodbye at the end of this show because it's Never. one continuous party. But this will be the first time I'll say the fly jock has landed. After decades on the radio, legendary host Tom Joyner steps away from the microphone. He is known as the fly jock, and today he signed off for the final time, but not before sitting down with CBS's Jerika Duncan. <laughs> It's 
time for the celebrities. Tom Joyner keeps his listeners laughing. Hugging! And learning. Barbara Hillary, the first black woman to stand on both the North and South Poles. Our thing has always been to empower people, but to empower, we have to first entertain. If I've got you laughing, I've got you listening. His nationally syndicated radio show hit the airwaves in 1994 with a certain audience in mind. We do a show for, for African Americans. That's what we do. Joyner says super serving the African American community has been the secret to his success. Don't worry about crossover. Just super serve, super serve, super serve. Anything that affects African Americans, that's what you do. Just worry about connecting to people and their needs. He was born and raised in Tuskegee, Alabama, one of many cities that helped shape the civil rights movement. I'm out there protesting the fact that our radio station in this all-black town didn't play any black music. And this guy who owned the radio station, which was inside a Ford dealership, came out and said, I don't need this. I'm trying to really sell some cars. Tell you what, it's a sun-up to sundown station. Every Saturday, I'll let one of you play all the Aretha and the Temptations that you want. That's how it started. That's how it started. By the mid-1980s, Joyner earned the nickname Fly Jock. That's because he was offered two jobs and took both, flying between Dallas, where he did a morning show, and Chicago, where he was on air in the afternoons. How did you do that for eight years, though? Greed. <laughs> Celebrities, including Oprah Winfrey, have been calling in to congratulate Joyner on his retirement. Congratulations. What's the next chapter? I'm just going to be concentrating on raising money and putting, putting it in the hands of college students to, to help their tuition uh, at historically black colleges. That's my goal. And some of the other celebrities who called in this morning to say goodbye, Jennifer Hudson, Ice Cube, and Chris Rock, among many others. But honesty, always his key always. to success. That's why he kept it real for so long. Greed. <laughs> I loved that. Hey, you know what? It's he got true. it going. Right. All right. Hey, man. Last day, last few minutes. A living legend signed off the air for the last time. Hey, it's like an end of a, an era. Tom Joyner officially retired today after 25 years as the host of the Tom Joyner Morning Show. It's bittersweet. Uh, I'm very excited because Tom has worked so hard and earned this uh, place in his uh, life and this time. But he was more than a radio host. He was the voice for the black community, from politics to promoting social causes. He was our voice. You know, I think that's the thing. Now I'm going to get kind of tested. Mm. He was our voice. And um, I was reading so many um, tributes and I was like, that's what you want to do. You want to change. You want to be able to use this and change lives. And he did that. He grew up as the son of a Tuskegee Airman in Alabama. Education was his number one priority, promoting historically black colleges. He raised more than $65 million for his foundation to help students go to college. He just wasn't going to be satisfied unless everybody that he could possibly help had an opportunity to go to school and not run out of money. Tributes poured in, like Tyler Perry, who called in as his famous character, Medea. I just wanted to call in and tell you thank you all the love that you have given me over these years. In the mid-80s, he was called the fly jock because he flew round trip between Dallas and Chicago five days a week to host shows. He was the first black syndicated radio show host. Dee Dee McGuire, who hosts the Dee Dee McGuire Morning Show on K104, is one of his protégés. He, he just laid the blueprint for, for me. I'm now heard in 30 cities around the country, and that's all because Tom Joyner kicked open that door. Didi says it's now up to those he inspired to take the reins and continue his legacy of entertainment and philanthropy. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.